Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. Now, um, what I'm probably possibly going to be doing from now on is trying to record levels all in one go. So sometimes if I, I, I may or may not add um, goodbyes and hellos and things like that into them. But if I don't, then please do forgive me. It's just I'm finding it really difficult to know exactly how long a level is going to take on this. It gets a little bit difficult. And I don't really like having like ending an ending a level and starting a new one. So just to let you guys know that, that might be what's going to be happening. Okay, so a private collector wants us to build a new public aquarium from scratch, and they want me to be the architect. They've installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium. Now this is like the stupidest tank in the world, by the way. I hate the design of it already, so I may change it. The rest is down to you. Get the aquarium ready to open. Remember to fulfil your animals' care requirements to maximise their point value. Okay. So I'm going to do some changes to this, but I'm quite tight on money. I've got 4,000 and I've got to do quite a lot of stuff. I've got to get 80 ecology points. I've got to get 80 science points. I've got to get six different animals in here that all like each other. And so, yeah, it's not going to be too, too easy. Um, so things like eels can be a bit rough. Flame angelfish, they they don't like their own species, but they can go in with other species. So I think I'll maybe put one of those in. They will eat stony corals, clams, or gorgonians. I don't believe I've got any of those yet, so pop one of those in. We'll pop in... Royal Grammar, do you need to shoal? You don't need to shoal. We'll pop in a Royal Grammar. We'll, we'll pop in a King Demoiselle. That's three. Half and half chromis need to shoal. Squir reef squirrel fish need to shoal. Fox face rabbit fish won't be in with anything else that eats a green pellet. So what have we got so far? We've got Demoiselle, Grandma. So... No, it won't go with the, the flame angel fish. Red tail butterfly fish. They may damage corals. Well, here's clearly not a tank where we're going to have any corals then. Um, moray eels and hermit crabs. Well, we've got nothing that damages crustaceans, just things that damage corals so far, I believe, anyway. It gets hard when the tank is as mixed as this one is. But I think we could get away with a couple of hermit crabs. What else can we put in here? I don't think we can put an eel in now because of the hermit crabs. Um... I may need to put some some half and half promise in. They're shoulders, but we need we only need four. I mean that's a decent amount of fish anyway. Oh, apparently if you zoom like really far in, you get to go in. Look, you get first person mode. You get to like have a real good look at this aquarium. Looks amazing. Well, it doesn't look amazing because there's no decorations in it whatsoever. But it only wants me to put the fish in and get the sufficient heating and, and water quality and things like that. Now, we don't quite have the water quality we need. Uh, we don't have enough stuff to feed them. We don't... Well, I think we do have sufficient heating. It's not telling me that I don't. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got sufficient heating. I don't know why that's not ticked. Maybe it's because I have to do the water quality first. But we do... We need a little bit of a pump set up in here just to increase the heating Put the power heater in oh that's not actually connected up hang on there we are right so that's connected up to the tank it's giving it a bit more heating oh i didn't need heating i needed filtration darn it silly she lab I really need to not be wasting resources right now because I've got a lot to build. So we've got 3,400 left. So we spent about five, 600 on that tank. And I need to put some more tanks around the place. Now, what I think I'm going to do is have... I'm actually going to build it back a little bit, I think. And then I'm going to have certain tanks protruding forward and that'll give me little seating areas that the guests can go into and stuff. 
So I'm just going to push it back a few tiles in this direction. And put some little tanks in for some various fish species that I want. I don't want massive tanks. So I'm thinking like, have some observer tanks. That stick right, right out, like. Could have one that's like a three by two or something, like not too big. Could even have some quite little ones, little observer tanks. Maybe just a couple of those. And then I'll be able to just pop some benches and, and soda machines and bins and what have you in the, in the corners. And then I'll probably put a staff door back there. So the staff can go back there and I'll put some walls. So we've got two tanks here. What capacity have we got? 15 and 15. Okay. I'm thinking we might want a slightly bigger one for some eels or something, maybe. Let's see what fish we can put in here, because we're looking for some, some fish with good um, ecology. At the moment we've got 74 ecology, we only have 5 science, we really need some science. Some grammars would be good for science. Uh, reef? Oh, reef squirrel fish are amazing. How big are they? 4. So I could have... 12. I could have four. Oh, four would need to be 16, wouldn't it? That would need a bigger tank. Oh, these tanks are too small. For what I want to do. Any other ones that have science? My eels have science. They can go all the way up to nine. Nine plus nine is 18. Can't even have two of those in there. Yeah, I think I think a tank full of grammars is going to be the best. Five grammars in this one, giving me thirteen science. So we're now up to seventeen. How much money do we have left? Not much. I wish I could resize tanks. I really do. But I think what I'm going to have to do then is to do a little bit more expanding, just a tiny bit. I'll pop in one slightly larger tank. And that larger tank is going to be a... another observer tank. I'm going to do lots of observer tanks. I feel like they're really good for the guests to be able to see the animals, the, the fish. get all the way around you know so this one now has a capacity of 23 I should be able to get a few eels in there but a couple of eels in there 23 eels get up to 9 so I need 18 well I don't know they could just not get fully grown but these guys shoal and they need to be in a shoal of four and they take up four, so they need 16, which is such a shame. Like, the tank is 15, and they need 16. That really sucks. But I'm going to put my reef squirrel fish in here. I'm going to put two eels in here. I will move the eels to a bigger tank later. How much science do I have now? 58 out of 80. I still need more. Wow. This is really rough. But they still haven't got all of their um, like tanks and stuff in there yet either. Let's put those in. I'm going to put them in behind for now. That seems to be enough for them, which is great. I need a couple of plants in here. And one little bit of eelgrass should do it though. So it's just getting a bit more science now, isn't it? Oh no, we've done the science. We've got lots of science. That's really good. So I just need a bit more ecology. Okay. That's easy enough. There was me getting all worried. I 
I could just put like one more half and half chromis in here, or even two. Because they're shoulders anyway. Yeah, that's lovely. That's a really nice start, I think. Now, next I'm going to put a few benches around the place, just so that the guests have somewhere to sit. And I would like in some places there then to be like a cola machine and maybe a bin. So that could maybe be along here. But I'm going to open up first. Okay, so the collector wants to explore the world, the world sorry, of corals with your help. Your next objective is to unlock the disco mushroom and add one to your aquarium. You should expand your aquarium to increase your ecology and science income. More tanks and more animals equals more income. Also keep an eye on your profits. Even with the collector's investment, you'll need to manage the aquarium profitably. Now I'm going to go quite slowly on this. I don't. What I don't want to do is to have anything dying. So let's research disco mushrooms. Perfect. So I need to unlock them and unlock the protein skimmer as well. Ah, perfect. So I will just speed that up a little bit. And I'm going to keep an eye on these tanks because these fish grow. There is always a chance. Oh, they don't have high deep hidey holes. Let's just make them some hidey holes. Because they will be unhappy without them. We have that hidey hole. And you guys can have a couple of... Uh, Driftwood caves. That's all I can really do there, I'm afraid. Okay, so we've got nothing to feed them. Oops. Okay, so for now, what I'm going to do to feed them, they might get really... Oh. No, I've got money, actually. I've got money. I'm going to keep it going. I'm just going to draw a line down the bottom, down the back here. And then another line. And that will give me enough space to put some feeders and things in. I always forget where the feeders are. They're under the, the screwdriver thing. So I need a green pellet dispenser. An orange pellet dispenser. A member of staff to do the feeding. Mussels as well. I need mussels. Done. Okay, we're all good. Hopefully the f this fish won't die. Oh, water temperature's too low. Oh, good grief, I need a heater. Okay, I'm stopping it now, because I really don't want them to die. Okay, there we are. Oh, do I really not have... Oh, okay, Th these guys really... They really need some stuff, don't they? Bless them. Okay, are we happy now? Are we happy fishies? Oh, right, they're... they're heater thingy isn't working I need a member of staff that can do fixing and I need a tool bench these things I normally put in before I open the museum I was a bit worried about money though and I think we need a broom cupboard as well there we are lovely and neat right okay I have people behind my staff area which is not good never good so let's move them out they must have got in there while i was building it and they're not getting me any prestige while they're stood there is it, are they all broken oh you know what this is the guests actually break the, the equipment if they can get to it because they're they are little vandals so if you look in the guest thoughts this serves me right for not. Half and half Chromis looks a bit stressed. Shouldn't shouldn't the filters be hidden out the way? So they're really unhappy because she labbed it and put a wall here. That's basically the reason why they are unhappy. So there we are. Let's start again. And all this stuff needs to get fixed, otherwise the fish are gonna look really stressed. I'm gonna I'm gonna get another fixer feeder staff member in okay so I've got some dead fish and that was all because people got in behind my walls so the red tail butterfly fish out of the central tank has gone so I would like to replace that
I don't know why that died. Let's have a look at the autopsy report on that particular one. Low water temperature. So did that die before I could sort the temperature out? Because I did put in... No, hang on. So low water temperature. That tank doesn't have low water temperature. Why did it die due to low water temperature then? Was it broken? Did someone get in there that shouldn't have done? And break it? Right, so we're not going to need these anymore, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay. I think we should be good to go again. I'm not going to fast forward it. Things keep going wrong when I fast forward. So we've got... Reef squirrel fish, reef squirrel fish. So I, I need to replace two of the reef squirrel fish. And then just have a look at their tank. Their tank is fine. I've got, if anything, too many members of staff right now, but I don't care. Having the fish well looked after is really important for prestige. And you lose prestige if your fish die, which is no good at all. I mean, it, it recovers after a while, seemingly. But it's not going to help. So just get this all nice and, and good and, and sorted. And I'll be happy. I mean, maybe another staff door at this side would be a good idea as well, actually. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it any time I'm doing something that exposes the back area of the aquarium to guests. I'm going to stop them going there. Another thing that I would like to do is I believe I now have floor arrows that can tell them which way to go. So I would like to just like have floor arrows and try and tell them to go a certain way when they come in. Try and get a bit of a flow going around here. Okay, I would like to open a little bit of this out a bit more and get them some like soda machines and stuff. Soda machine. And also a bin. Because we don't want to be constantly cleaning up after the guests. We just want them to be happy. Okay, so one thing that I want to do with this area here, although I can't really do it on this side, is to put like maybe another tank on the side of it. And uh, just expand out in that direction and, and have some corner tanks and stuff around the other side. I think that would be really cool. Uh, I also want to just make sure that now we have um, some money. That we put in some different kinds of fish. So we've already got the half and half chromis. We already have a king demoiselle, I believe. We already have royal grammar in the central tank. Reef squirrel fish. We don't have fox face rabbit fish. We do have red tail butterfly fish. We, I can't remember if we've got angelfish. We don't have an eel tank. We don't have many hermit crabs. Now, hermit crabs, I think, I don't think there's any crustacean aces in, in this tank. Um, is the tank full? The tank is nowhere near full either. So I think we could get some bigger fish in here. We could decorate it a bit more nicely. So who have we got? We've got the angelfish, we've got that fish. We've got the chromis and we've got some hermit crabs. Okay, so we don't want anything that'll eat mollusks or anything like that. Crustaceans. Uh, so the eels are out. What about this rabbit fish? It doesn't like anything that eats green pellets. That's why that's not in there already. All right, then. All right, then. Never mind. I don't think we can really put anything else in there at the moment, but we could put maybe another red tail in. They're quite big. Oh, it shows me what I've got already. When I hover over it, it tells me how many are in the aquarium. So, yeah, I don't have those. I have those. I have those. I have those. I've got one King Demoiselle. I could maybe put another couple in. I'll be a bit careful of this tank because it needs a lot of filtering. Nigel is coming to feed these guys. So let's have a look at this tank. 
Is it looking a bit lacklustre at the moment? I mean, they don't have many decorations. There's lots of fish in here, but there's not many big fish. I would prefer to have some bigger fish in here when I can, once they get, once they get kind of made. But I don't, I don't think this is going to be the tank where I'm going to be putting my corals and stuff. Maybe this tank, or maybe one of the smaller ones. That that eel is looking a little lonely. We've got two in there, haven't we? They need a bigger tank. That's something I could maybe even put a corner tank in here or something. But yeah, I said I wanted to put a tank that attaches on the, the side of this. Because I feel like at the moment, there's this whole big, horrible, long, nasty, evil, blank space of wall that I really don't like. I mean, I could put benches along it and put a really interesting... Oh, protein skimmer's done. Uh, large heater. So protein skimmer would be really, really useful, actually, in this big main tank. So I could actually get rid of one of these filters and put in a protein skimmer instead. And you'll see that it goes right up in water quality. My moray eel has grown! Yay! I am happy. So we still have quite a small aquarium at the moment and I would like both sides to have interesting things. So the next thing I'm going to do is to expand the other side. Now, the, the majority of fish on, I'm gonna pause it again. I know I just spend a lot of time in pause. I believe it's important to the game that you spend a lot of time in pause. These guys, what do you eat? You eat orange. You guys eat mollusks. Oh yeah, orange, mollusk, orange. So that would be kind of quite good to have the orange and mollusk eaters on this side as much as possible. It's not always possible to have all of them. Have green and uh, like there's clams or something later on. What were they called? What are they called? I haven't unlocked them yet, but there is another, like, another food. But mostly we'll have green eaters on this side, I believe. I'm actually gonna just expand a little bit more, just so we've got this, the idea of how it's gonna be. And I think what I want is a, is a kind of corner section there and then I want another tank on the side of here. Yeah, I do. I think it would be more interesting looking. And I know that I'm always like on about things being interesting looking instead of actually just making things that are, that are good. But I'm going to put another lagoon tank actually on the side here. I'm not going to make it too big. Or does it need to be? No, it needs to be an observer tank, I think. I don't know how they've got such a big observer tank there. Let's see what I can do. Oh yeah, that's what I could do. Either an observer tank there or a corner tank. I think a corner tank on the corner there and then a, no. Oh, should I have done, should I have done two corner tanks? How big can corner tanks get? Quite big, you can get them as a three by three. That's what I think I need. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna move this one in here. Yeah, and I'm gonna expand it a bit. Oh, wrong one corner tank I'm going to have two corner tanks there I'm going to put a wall in by here and by here and by here and that will give me a little bit more space I'm going to move you out from 
from the staff area. Because it drives me nuts when there's this tiny little staff room and I can't fit anything in. So this is going to give me the space I need to do the things I need. Okay. So the tanks aren't too big either, which is which is fine by me. Um, so what was it that I did not have? Six, six, five, nothing. One, one, two, two. Four. Okay, so it's definitely the fox faced rabbit fish that need to go in somewhere. They are a size 7. They are massive. They dislike food competitors and can't be housed with other species that eat green pellet. But they can just go in on their own if they want. They don't eat crustaceans or anything like that, seemingly. So I could put some crustaceans in with them if I wanted. 7, 14. They don't grow, I don't think, either. Oh yeah, I could stick one crustacean in with them. I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. I have one hermit crab to help filter their water. Okay, so that's that's them. So now I have one of every type of fish that I own. I would love to have bigger fish in here. I want to put a red, another red tail. I don't think they eat each other, do they? Or are they ones that don't like to be together? Oh, I forget. No, they just can't go in with things like fox-faced rabbit fish because they eat green pellets. So we've got a lot of green pellet eaters in this particular part of the uh, aquarium, which is quite nice. So I will put a green pellet dispenser. There are some orange as well, but that's all we've got. And we've got all the mollusk eaters, all the mussel eaters on this side. So I'm just going to pop in, in here. I'll give them, obviously, filters because they need them. isn't quite enough for the um, fox faced rabbit fish so we're going to give them one of those uh, protein skimmers which is great but that means that there's no real room in here for um, dispensers we could get one to the side of the door and one tucked in there but we'll get one tucked in behind there as well maybe I could even tuck one in there <laughs> it's still quite tight for space but it's better than it was Okay, so, definitely 100% want a green pellet dispenser, and that can go there. Orange pellet dispenser could, they could bring it in from elsewhere, or I could try and put one in. I don't have the room back here for, for, for the really cool stuff, you know. Pop that by the door. A little bit cramped, but that will work. What am I going to put in here, though? What am I going to put in there? Something... I've got my squirrel fish over there. Maybe I could have a... Well, we've got a lot of demoiselle and grammars. Is there anything that we only have a couple of? Three of those. Two of those. One angelfish. They like to be on their own. They really like to be on their own. But yeah, I could put an angelfish in there. I could put him in with a friend. Or I could just leave him on his own. eel grass at the back it looks a bit lonely I mean we could put him in with some crustaceans or something so it's 3 out of 15 at the moment in that tank capacity so I need something else got a lot of promises I mean they are shoulders We've got two red tails. Yeah, I'll stick a red tail or two in with them. Now, do, e do either of those eat mollusks? Or crustaceans? No. And no. But you wouldn't want to put stony corals, clams or gorgonians in with them. But that's fine. I don't have any of those. So I'm going to give them a mollusk friend. A hermit crab. I keep saying mollusk, I don't think I mean mollusk, I mean crustacean. So that's already looking better. I have so much across my screen. It's not even funny. Let's go into first person mode. Let's see what these guys look like. They 
look good together. We've got these guys in here. It's not a deep tank though. Deep tank is this one. Which I don't feel is very well uh, decorated right now. So I want to do some decorating. But I can do that with the game playing. Whereas when I'm messing around with fish and stuff. Whoa. I'm stuck in first person mode. No. Um, so these guys are not very well filtered. May need a, another filtering system quickly. And uh, protein skimmer. Other than that, everything seems to be going swimmingly. I know. It's a bad pun. It's a really bad pun. Disco mushrooms are unlocked! Yay! So I would like to unlock... Mm, Longhorn catfish. Okay, so most corals, including the disco mushroom, need light to supplement their food. You need to add a light to each tank that contains corals. The cost of the light is proportional to the size of the tank, so smaller tanks are cheaper to light. Okay. So build a tank with disco mushrooms, a protein skimmer, sufficient lighting, sufficient water quality, and sufficient heating. I think once we've done this, we'll end the episode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check if these... Um, there's, tw there's 23 in there. Okay. And these guys... Need to be in a group of at least four. They need a hidey hole. Ah, oh, right. They don't like lights, so I can't put the coral in with them. How about you guys? Tank two. Royal grammars. They seem fairly simple to... Yeah, they seem fairly simple to keep. So I think I'll put them in with the royal grammars if I can, unless the tank is completely full. I don't know whether I need points to put things in, like, corals. No, they don't have a size, so that's fine. I can just pop a couple in here. And they'll be good. Right, so let's get lighting in on them. Uh, my lighting, lighting. Here we are, lighting. It's beautifully lit, and I need a protein skimmer on the tank so that, that they don't die. And that's... Lovely. Well done. Congratulations on obtaining your first coral. The collector is currently compiling a wish list of what they want for the aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipment and try to progress to rank 5. As you expand your aquarium, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view rate overlay, which is that one, toggled using the button in the top right. So we can see at the moment we've got a fairly simple aquarium. Sorry, I don't mean to do that. And they seem to be looking at everything on the way around, but they're not really getting around here so much. When they are, they're really enjoying what they're seeing. Uh, I think they also want drinks and stuff around here a bit more. So I need to maybe make a little cubby hole around here, but here would be a good place to put like some benches and things for them to sit down on maybe. Have a little bench area. Oh, they need to be moved in a little bit. I was slightly off when I put them down. So there's like an area for them to sit and they can sort of watch this tank. I'll decorate it a little bit better next time as well. Um, and I will move around the floor arrows as well and I'll tell them a bit more. Oh, sorry, I wanted to move that floor arrow about where they where they need to go. Oh, I see. There's an area of effect on them. So when they're here, they need to go that way. I'm going to try and put a few more floor arrows around so that they actually do get properly caught up in them. Um Needs to move a little bit backwards. So that needs to be like right in the middle there. Yay, 
Long Horn Cowfish's research. I'll um, make a little tank for those next time as well. Oops. I'll choose, I'll choose later. I'll choose next time. We'll go back in and do a bit of research next time. So this is my aquarium so far. Since I put the floor arrows in, people seem to actually be more likely to go past these tanks, which is great. They're coming past this one on the way in, so I don't really need to worry about them missing it a little bit on the way out. But it'd be nice if we have tanks along here for them to take that route. And if they need to, they can sit there and watch the fish in that tank. As I say, I'll do a few more decorations um, next time and I will have a look at the deep wall tank. So I'm not sure I can either put that along the wall back here or along here somewhere. But yeah, I'm quite liking the way this is looking actually. So you, you kind of... Let's go on a tour around my aquarium before I finish, shall we? In first person mode. So if I was a, an aquarium guest, I would come in the door here. I would see this lovely fish tank that I think could be improved a lot. And I'd come over here and I'd be like, oh, look, there's some pretty coral in there. How interesting. Oh, look at these eels. Aren't they so cool? Oh, aren't they pretty little pink fish in there? And then I'd be like, oh, time for a soda. I am so parched. Drinking my soda on the way around. Oh, look, there's a nice tank over here. Oh, it's full of pretty orange fish. Oh, and look at these ones. They are lovely and yellow. Oh, and now I finish my talk. So that is basically... Oh, have a little sit down with my drink now. Oh. I kind of think I maybe need to finish, like... I maybe need to, to, like, turn the... Maybe they need a drink on the way in, and then they can sit down with their drink on the benches. But maybe I'll turn... Maybe I'm overthinking this. I probably am. Oh, what's going on now? We're way too zoomed out. or way too zoomed in. But yeah, I want to make that tank there way more of a feature tank so I may move around some of the fish in it I may like play around with it a little bit make it a lot more of a feature I'll decorate it a bit better maybe get some caves and stuff like that in there I mean I could maybe even like light it up and fill it with coral and move in fish that that do well with coral or I can just keep the coral in there depending on what I fancy really but uh, oh yes we need to feed that I'll sort that out next time I'm going to end the episode here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe. And let, I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.